Hey everyone, my name is Jeff Tucker. I'm an equine veterinarian. And in 1983, I floated my first horse. And since then I've floated close to 75,000 horses um, all over this country. And there's one thing that I've noticed. Dentistry over the past 20 years has changed. And I have stuck with the traditional horsemanship based uh, way of doing things. Why? Well, it's simple, it works. It works for me, it's worked for generations of people um, using just hand floats and without uh, sedation or any sort of drugs in the horses. And to me, what gets me up in the morning and gets everybody up who, who does it this way is the connection that we can make with a horse. We do that within 30 seconds. We don't have 30 days, you don't have 30 minutes to make a connection and put a float blade in their mouth. We have 30 seconds to say, hey, you know what? I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to remove all sources of pain inside your mouth and make you feel comfortable. And while sometimes they squirm in the dentist chair and sometimes they say, you know, with bug eyes, what the heck are you doing? In, in like no time at all, they start to feel really good about what we're doing. By the time we're done, most of them will just touch their noses to our elbows or press their forehead into our uh, chest or basically show signs of gratitude that even the owners are in disbelief seeing. In 90, probably 93% of all the horses that we do statistically over the past 10 years, I do without drugs. The remaining 7% is because we have uh, an extraction to do something that's painful, there's an infection in the mouth, and they really do need to be um, use painkillers, not just sedation, but painkillers, something that are controlled substances, something that really works, and the veterinarian needs to do it. But in the husbandry aspect of removing the excess uh, dental tissue that grows just like removing hooves, we have developed a technique, several techniques. In fact, we have a whole list of techniques that we have special names for, like the over-under, the cranny grabber, or the trung tongue trapper. All these things are ways that we've developed by using our, our hand floats to get in, the pitch, yaw, and roll technique, the place and pull technique, that gets in and gets every point, including the very last upper cheek teeth. That seems so hard to get for most people, but everybody who's been through this school gets it and knows how to get them very back. Anyway, the reason I'm talking to you right now is maybe you have an interest in becoming an equine dentist. It could be a career move that you're looking for then, and you haven't been able to find anything that satisfies you. Well, if you're a like-minded horseman, somebody who believes that a horse is a living, breathing being, not an inanimate object, but somebody who can give and take, well, you just don't want to drug that so you don't get that feedback. That's what I feel. I like to have the give or take good or bad, that tells me that the horse is reacting positively or negatively in what I'm doing so I can move forward in a beneficial way for both of us. That's what we teach at the Equine or the <coughs> Horsemanship Dentistry School. I'm so excited I'm getting stuff in my throat. I hope you understand, but listen, this is what I like you to do. Watch the other video on this page. It shows Melissa working with a helmet cam so you get to see what she does and you also get to see from the outside of the stall at the same time. It's a really cool immersion into what we do. It's only five and a half minutes long. I have about a dozen of these on the, in the school site. Um, I also want you to read everything on this page and, and figure out if this is something you want to do. If you're a horseman looking for horsemanship um, and, and making a career out of this, then this is the place you've got it. So all you have to do is fill in the form with your name and email address. It's between you and me. I don't sell it. It's not, uh, it's, it's not public. It's just between you and me. <clears throat> and I will give you a free booklet that I wrote called The Myths of Equine Dentistry Exposed and How to Profit from It. And this will show you what the career path of doing a horsemanship dentistry is all about. It will also bring you to another page automatically. And that page is going to give you access to all the stuff in the site. The cost of the school, the structure, the syllabus, and frequently asked questions. And then once you go through all of this information, if you still have questions, then you can just pick up the phone and dial <clears throat> and, and set up an appointment to talk with me and I'll spend as much time as it takes to go over some of the details or some of the questions that you have. But I can tell you right now, those who go through the school are going to learn how to get every aspect of every tooth and to do it about 90% of the time without drugs and walk away with satisfied horses, satisfied uh, horse owners, and most importantly, you're going to be satisfied that you made a great choice in a career. So thanks. This is Doc T, and I look forward to uh, seeing you uh, after you sign up. Thanks.